Hi everyone, my name is Mike and today I want to dive into Hail Replay. Hail Replay is our super cool radar imagery playback tool that shows you where it's hailing the most within the hail swath. You can use it to see if the hail is scattered or concentrated before you make the long trip to investigate further. Okay, first let's take a look at a few hailstorms so you can see the difference between scattered and concentrated hail. This is the major Denver hailstorm that hit May of 2017. This is a good example of a very intense hailstorm. When you see radar images like this, with purple and white concentrations, you'll know it's time to get excited. This is not the kind of hailstorm where there are just a few large hailstones scattered in the yard. There is a lot of hail falling and most likely it's piling up on the ground. Now let's take a look at a hailstorm where the hail is scattered. This hailstorm hit just south of Dallas-Fort Worth in April 2017. Notice how the radar image isn't concentrated like the Denver hailstorm. We believe that it is hailing in this area, but the hail is scattered and is most likely not causing any damage. Two radar frames later, the hailstorm gets a little better organized, and this is the best spot to check if you decide to scout the area. But overall, this is a scattered hailstorm, so don't expect widespread damage. Here's a hailstorm that hit Albuquerque, New Mexico in November of 2016. At first glance, you might think there won't be any damage, as the radar is only indicating half-inch hail, and there are only three spotter reports, and each spotter report is only one inch. But when you analyze the storm with hail replay, you immediately recognize that the volume is very high. So even though the hail size is only indicated at half inch, you should definitely check it out when you see radar images like this. Okay, now let's look at one more. This hailstorm hit just east of Houston in April 2017. Notice how the radar images appear scattered. Again, when you see scattered radar images, you should be skeptical that there will be widespread damage. So one of Hail Replay's main benefits is that you can see the hailstorm's volume. Another benefit is that you can see the concentrations of hail even if there is no hail swath. We show you the path of the hail even if the hail is indicated less than half inch, which is required for a hail swath. Notice that there aren't any hail swaths associated with these radar images. You can still have these images available to you so you can drop markers and scout the area. Another major benefit of hail replay is that it allows you to visualize the hailstorm's direction. Most hailstorms travel from southwest to northeast. Without hail replay, you might have missed the fact that this Tucson hailstorm is moving the exact opposite direction. You can also use hail replay to see if your hail swath was created by one storm or multiple hailstorms moving over the same area. Without hail replay, it would have been difficult to see that this entire area was hit by two completely separate hailstorms about an hour apart. Notice that we show you the exact time of each radar frame, so there will be no question as to when the hailstorm hit. Now let's use hail replay to see the hail's duration. This is a hailstorm near Lincoln, Nebraska. You can see it hailed over the same area for quite some time. Hail replay clears everything up and takes hail prospecting to another level. Notice this hailstorm keeps building up over the same area and now it's been hailing for close to an hour. Hail replay should be the first thing you analyze after your hailstorm hits. It helps you determine if the hailstorm is any good before you drive two hours to check it out. You can instantly visualize if the hail is just scattered or pounding the area. So hail replay is absolutely essential and is included with most accounts. If you have an older legacy account where Hail Replay isn't included, navigate to your account settings to upgrade or give us a call. We can have you hooked up in minutes. For detailed instructions on how to load radar images, please watch the Hail Replay instructional video at interactivehailmaps.com. You can find it by clicking here on the Videos tab.